We are the Hi. team from SimplyMadeLocal.com. Thank you guys for joining us and being patient. We are just running a little bit behind the scenes <laughs> because we are having fun already getting all of this stuff set up. I'll introduce you to our team. I'm Abby. Brian. Taylor. Carrie. And like I said, we are the team from simplymadelocal.com. We are a handmade, unique, and custom uh, marketplace to sell your handmade goods. So if you're looking for an Etsy alternative, a place where you can just uh, purchase those unique items that you really can't find anywhere else, head over to simplymadelocal.com and you're going to find a ton of vendors ready to uh, show you their handmade products. Very exciting. But on a Thursday night, every Thursday night here on Facebook Live, we like to slow it down and we like to bring you a new and fun craft. Uh, we call it our weekly craft party where we show you how to make, <laughs> yes, we all have our drinks. Uh, we invite you to get uh, your uh, favorite drink and sit down and just take an hour to yourself uh, to tune in with us and just talk shop, talk all things craft um, here with the team from simplymadelocal.com. We've got a really fun craft planned uh, for you this evening. I know that I was really excited to uh, dive into this. A little nervous, right? Um, guys, I think because this is more, this is kind of not so much a crafters thing. Ryan, what, what are we doing this evening? You want to tell everybody? So we all found like cool we went thrift store shopping and we all found something cool that we could repurpose and make into new planters because it's spring and it's almost earth day and so we kind of want to like recycle and upcycle but also have something new and fresh in our homes so um what I did was I took my bestie who I'm visiting here in Florida this week and I we went to the thrift store and I had her pick out some stuff that she might like in her condo and then we're going to do a little succulent garden. So I have this crazy can, giant candlestick and an old like candy dish bowl and then just this like tr little trifle bowl and I'm going to be spray painting them and putting some cool nautical rope and then doing a little succulent garden for her in them. Um, so each of us did something unique like I went pretty basic um for this but some of the other gals had some really unique pieces like I am in love with Carrie's I think it's super cool um Taylor's going to show us a cool technique for how to um cut glass and make something into a, a planter and Abby something to do with whiskey I don't know she'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the whiskey's going down, and um, <laughs> I've got some really fun finds. So I was really excited to do this project because it's something that I'm not very good at, and so I always love to kind of push myself and uh, see what I can do, and that is definitely in the world of gardening. I am I do not have a green thumb. Um, we live in a very dry, hot climate. Uh, we will get to Taylor's weather report here in just a moment. <laughs> Uh, and and you'll you'll notice that probably going forward for the rest of the year, the weather reports can be very very much the same. Um, yeah. Dry and hot Maybe here I'll start giving the weather report for wherever I am. Maybe that'll mix it up a little. Well, pretty much. We'll definitely tie it in. Not dry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was not dry. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. Um, you know, it's very hard. Uh, it's very hard to keep things alive here, and so we really have to work with a lot of succulents. <laughs> I feel like. Yeah. Um, I basically run a plant hospice at my house, so <laughs> succulents I can do though. They require very little attention. So when you guys yeah. see what I'm doing, <laughs> it's going to make a whole lot of sense. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm because I also that. can't keep stuff alive. So. So we thought what better way than to celebrate uh, Earth Day month than yeah. to kind of challenge ourselves and really, um, find something mm -hmm. that was sort of at the end of its life or something that we just kind of have lying around the house yeah. and uh, give it new life and just kind of transform it into something new and better. And what better way than to actually plant something and mm -hmm. just kind of keep it going. So it oh, I went to the thrift <laughs> store for this and I'm going to give a shout out. Um, we are in the Temecula area and there is a thrift store um, in Lake Elsinore right. that is called... Um, Neat, neat, neat. Oh my God, it like just went out of my, my head. Favorite word. I need to check it out. I'm so excited. It's 
It's on my list of stuff to look at. (laughs) And I will tell you, the store is neat. I have been shopping there for, (laughs) gosh, um, I used to own a business uh, before this business many years ago, and uh, it was called the Giving Tree Collectibles. And we would repurpose things and and we made all sorts of different stuff, but everything that we made was made from repurposed uh, products and or upcycled things. And mm-hmm. uh, we would shop at this thrift store weekly. And so it was really fun to kind of go back and see what they had. And they always have like the 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 craziest things. And so I found really some that. treasures this week, you guys. Oh my gosh, treasures. Yeah, you did. So, so the idea was to turn something kind of retro into a plant planter, something you could put actually outside in your garden and kind of embed it. You know, you guys have seen those TVs, the typewriters, the old telephones, yeah. the old radio. I tried to find a typewriter. I was looking uh-huh. hard, I was looking for something like cool that I could gut and it just wasn't around here. So, <laughs> so yeah, Christina so is, is wondering really quickly before I forget, or before we get too many more comments, yeah. where she can get one of these very trendy, very cool aprons. Um, oh, this was actually oh. handmade by Miss Abby. Um, yes, this was a gift for Christmas. We all got our, <laughs> um, our aprons. So, but yes. that is a great idea, Christina. We should oh, we look should at potentially the putting store. those on the site for sale because Seriously. we wouldn't want a simply made local apron for makers. They're really quality aprons too. They're not yeah. just really awesome. cheap fabric. They're They're really like nice. And it's it has a pocket in the front, which is primo. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see it over my plants, but. Oh, and I, I don't have mine because I'm not at home this week. So, That's also, right. this shirt came from Neat Thrift Shop. So, not that you can see okay. it. Because- <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Why you didn't you guys tell me this when I was in Lake Elsinore? I'm sad. I need to go. So I found some really cool, um, really vintage items. And I actually yeah. found one that I love so much that I was going to turn it into um, <laughs> something that I was going to put in the garden and just like pour dirt on it, just like those typewriters that you see. But I love yeah. it so much. I couldn't bear to do that. So I, I'm i not <laughs> fully planting a plant into it. I put, I was able to remove some of the um, guts and I put, I was able to fit a pot into it. But nice. you guys, look at this. I'm going to attempt to lift this up, but it's like um, a thousand pounds. No, that thing uh, looks heavy. Like the really cool stuff that you can find when you're looking um, at thrift stores. But, but look yeah. at this guy. Ooh, it is from the 1950s. It, it is, is, it is it. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Calculator. That's so crazy. And, and it really does kind of still work. I mean, it's not digital, but the buttons work and the clear. So anyways, I was going to remove the insides to this. So we have one that wasn't quite as huge as this. It. You can take out these insides and uh, put some plants in there. And this would look so cool out that would be in your really garden. Cool. How cool. So I'm going to put this actually on my entryway table. And I did take out some of the insides. And um, I was able to fit a, a planter or a pot in there. So I'm going to show you how to awesome. do that. And because I didn't, um, and then I found some other uh, gems. I found yes, a, yes. Um, an old uh, bun cr- uh, coffee craft that's I also great. absolutely need to find one of those because that goes perfectly with mine and my husband's life. <laughs> yes, that is the coolest thing. That's, so cool. <laughs> that's like an old for sure. carafe too. That's I like love it. it. What so they come simple. around to fill your coffee with, like way too high, not oh. leaving enough room for milk. <laughs> so today, pretty much everybody uh, who's joining us, we are going to be taking these retro pieces that mm-hmm. we found. Carrie's going to still introduce her piece, and Taylor's got something really cool. She didn't just fi- find mm-hmm. hers from a thrift store, but she's going to be repurposing some uh, bottles that she has around the house with um, a really cool tool. So she's going to tell you um, all about that. But pretty much the idea is just to get some inspiration from us tonight that you can take some of these really cool retro uh, products and you can really give them new life and introduce them into other parts of your house and your garden. So thank you so much for following along with us. We're going to dive right in and we're going to show you um, the supplies that you need 
for each of these products. I just want to mention before we get started, you do see four squares. We are a little bit different here. And what makes us unique is that we are four different crafters with four very different ways of crafting. So you're going to get four different tutorials here in one video. It's very cool. You can uh, look back on some of our older videos. Um, we come every week to you on a Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can find our yes. past videos on our YouTube channel at Simply Made Local. And if you Which do are local, now set up as seasons and episodes so that's going to make things so much easier for you guys when you go to look back so fancy um, <laughs> well yes fancy it but i also feel like it's going to make it so, so much bad. easier after this and continue to edit those titles i did i think yes. all of season two so far but um it's way easier than looking at dates so <laughs> yes. yeah. so thank you so much please subscribe to our channel that really supports us and helps us to yes. continue to be able to do these things that we love and bring you all of these really fun tutorials and i do want to state before we get ready tonight you can do a lot of these ideas with dollar tree items we'd like to be very mm -hmm. frugal with our crafts and so know that they do have succulents they do have planter pots that you can find at the dollar tree and sometimes you can find the soil so just keep it keep that in mind you can do all of these versions except for the retro piece you will have to use that from your home or a thrift store but you can find the other supplies from the dollar tree so yeah, let's let's year, they really beef up their garden section around it's actually really nice so. they had i was there the other day they had some um trimmers they had like really nice sets of gloves they even yeah. had in their like spring section they had like all the barbecue supplies that you could ever need it was so cool yeah, nice. and they yeah, always gotten like crazy. decent like even if you just want to like repot some stuff they always have decent like uh plastic pots that yeah you can always customize with stencils and vinyl and spray paint like there's For so sure. much stuff you could do there Smart. as well i like it all right, All right, so um, I'll, who wants to show their supplies first? How about we mix it up a little? Taylor, show us what you got, because you got a cool new gadget tonight. I'm super you excited. You have a cool gadget. Okay. I'm just jealous. Okay, so <laughs> I have a bottle here. This is actually, it was like a water that I got at Sprouts, like super fancy, uh, but Ooh. I loved the green in the bottle. So I was like, well, I want to, I literally had it sitting on the counter for a couple months, and my husband was like, can I throw this away? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. You can throw it away. And he's like, okay, obviously you want to keep it. We'll just keep it. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm going to use this for something. And then this project came up and I said, you know what? That's perfect. So okay. I went to the Holy grail of shopping, which is Amazon. I've been shopping on <laughs> Amp. Well, just I've been shopping on Amazon since the beginning of time, yeah. but I have been getting my, um, supplies for these projects the last I think three weeks so this is the third week that I've gotten my supplies at Amazon and I actually bought myself a bottle cutter or a glass cutter Neat. so you That's set so it cool. up um this is adjustable so you can bring it all the way back or you can turn it and make it really short if you need to like really it's something much shorter um but really you just you set the bottle here and you just turn it and it has this piece here that scores the um, the bottle or the glass. Very cool. And then I very carefully have a hot plate here with some boiling water. And then I also have some ice water here. So we'll be scoring it, dunking it in the hot water and then dunking it in the cold water and it should crack. We'll see, I have never done this before. Ooh, I hope it works. Um, <laughs> so this is my very first I've time. I've tried the, the Pinterest uh, method of the I tried that way, yeah. Wine and alcohol, setting it on fire and then cracking it. And, and then it, the kit even came with, I will normally say sandpaper, but my husband will kill me, abrasive paper oh, um, <laughs> for the um, edges. Paper. So it came with that, it came with directions. <laughs> and it also came with like a scoring pen too. So you can do oh, projects that aren't cool. on this. So it was a cool, cool kit. I think I spent cool for like people who do stained glass work too. Yeah. So I think I spent $30 on the kit, which was a little bit pricey. However, I can use this for all sorts of stuff. They had examples of pendant lights you can make because you can do this and then just cut the bottoms off and hang these from the top and you can make a whole set of different lights, which is really cool. I've seen those with um, wine bottles at wineries before and they are yeah. super cool. The light that filters out from all those slightly different shades of wine bottles is really beautiful. Yeah, and cool. Lord knows there's enough wine that is consumed well, around here. So we we'll have quite a bit of those. Enough wine flowing everywhere I'm at. Yes, and I am going to be scoring it up here at the top. So I'm actually gonna make more of a vase than a planter 
But the reason for that is because I can't keep anything alive anyways. So, but I love fresh flowers. Like I absolutely love it. That's one of my favorite things to do is to put fresh flowers in a vase and just have them on the counter. It just <laughs> makes me so happy. So I'm going to do more of a vase than a planter. I'm not going to keep whatever the heck it is alive anyway. So might as well just get me flowers that are going to die anyways. Do what you can do. Some people cannot keep plants alive. You could still do this same craft and get fake succulents or fake plants. Um, Hobby Lobby Dollar Tree has amazing quality uh, succulents, fake succulents, fake plants. I have some in my camper that I keep in there because I want greenery to make it feel like there's plants but I right. can't do that to a plant in a camper so I just have ones from Ikea Ikea has an excellent selection too so mm -hmm. anybody of our viewers that are watching like you can still do this amazing craft and use um, a non live plant and still get a beautiful result for your home very true very true <laughs> All right, so I, I love that we're gonna find out um, a beginner's point of view on this tool for um, if it works, how it works, and if she would, uh, if she thought it was a good buy. Um, and also <laughs> she's giving the tip on the other methods that she tried before and did not work. So if you were thinking yeah. about doing that, think again, and let's see how this tool <laughs> um, goes. This is so, much easier, um, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna get mine out of the way because I'm gonna just dive right into mine. Um, for mine, I, like I said, I had this coffee craft that, um, I found from the thrift store and it has this like really cool vintage green thing. So I had my husband use a Dremel and I had him, um, cut out, uh, the, the top part just to create a bigger opening for my plant. And then my plants around here somewhere. Oh, it's back here. I got this <laughs> donkey tail. <laughs> so Pretty I am going I like to, that um, replant this into here very simple i did put some rocks yeah. on the bottom and i got some succulent soil so i'm going to get cool. started um on this and then i'm going to dive into this big guy over here that really intimidates me but also very fun to push the buttons yes. a little <laughs> so that's what you're um, for my project <laughs> i'm dropping my plants okay so okay. Yeah. ryan what do you got Oh, I just want, I just started spray painting. That's all I'm doing. I E6000 these two pieces together earlier, so it would be ready for tonight. And now I'm just spray painting. So please continue. I'm <laughs> over here off to the side, spray painting all in a right. box. So I have this super cool piece that Abby found for me because I have had my car in the shop all week. So Abby went thrift store shopping for me, which is fantastic. I and she it. found this really rad retro yellow lamp i love it <laughs> it's very cool and yellow is my favorite color so this is like perfect for me so i am going to turn this guy into a planter and i think i'm going to kind of keep it sideways so that it can be a little bit different than just you know, the regular old planter um pretty easy. I'm just pretty much planting in here. I'm going to clean this guy up a little bit before I get started. And then she found this perfect little pot that can go right inside so I can remove it if I need to. And that's about it. I'm replanting. Abby, what are these called? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I'm not really sure what these guys are called. I don't have the label. Shrubs? Succulent yeah. shrubs? Little succulent guys. <laughs> They're going in there. <laughs> So she has half and I have half. So yes. we'll see. We split. So, and um, they fit perfectly in here. So I'm excited. I'm going to turn this guy into something fun. Now I did put some rocks at the bottom of this because since I don't have any irrigation, um, mm -hmm. I did that so that I won't get like some sort of rot situation. Right. Um, but these little pots, I did find them at the Home Depot and they were only $1.98 and they do have that filtrate, that uh, irrigation system on the bottom. So you won't yeah. need um, that. So that's an idea. Right. That's a All right, guys. We're going in the hot water already. Ooh. All right. Love Love it. It. Let's see it. There's the boiling there. water. I don't know if it's going to fit that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Should I get a pot that was a little, I underestimated the bottle size here <laughs> oh my goodness this is hilarious this is looking dangerous it is looking a little dangerous I think <laughs> okay. tip number 10 make sure that your boiling hot water pot is larger 
<laughs> your I thought I was just going to have to put the, uh, I was, <laughs> the tip. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, welcome to Craft Night with Simply Made Local. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. And then I guess we don't, but I don't, this isn't happening, you guys. Oh, no. Oh, it's it's not working. working. Try no. again. Try again. Size better. Second time. Is it because it bigger. was pretty boiling hot enough? It was pretty boiling. I'll, I'll do it again. Try it again. Okay. I'm going to get it hotter. <laughs> funny. Okay, so in case you're just joining us, sometimes me, fall apart. <laughs> uh, SimplyMadeLocal.com. We are making re retro repurposed planters this evening. We are all turning something old into something new. And if you're currently watching right now, Taylor is trying to cut this bottle, um, you know, off to make a vase. So she bought Struggling. a really cool tool. Yeah. Um, um, Maybe regrouping. I need to score it more. She's regrouping. I was going to say struggling, but I, I didn't want to like bring your spirit. No, we're not struggling. We're just thinking of different ways to do it. Just right? figuring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Working it out here. Because, because we always right. figure it out. It may not be on the first try, and that's what you're going to find here. We give you a real world out. view while you struggle with that. <laughs> okay, so Mary's saying I got to do it a couple times. See, thank you guys. You're helping us this evening. Thank yes, you. you are. I was expecting it to be like magic and for it to just like break off. So um the succulents, Mary says, are um elephant bushes. Once again, All right, so Mary, Mary, you have win. to be on every thank single you. live video. Okay. Perfect. Mary, job. Yeah, I think she's gonna need one because uh I'm not getting rid of her. She's gotta stay. <laughs> Okay, I am cutting off this wire completely. It's wrapped around really funky. They did things very interesting in the 70s, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more wire. I was made in the 70s. I know, I was also made in the 70s. Barely, just barely made in the 70s. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. It was the coolest decade. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I don't know if I want to glue this in. I think I kind of want to just leave it as is because I might need to take it out here and there. So I'm just going to reach more guys. comfortable with my glue gun than this pot of dirt that may or may not have creatures in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm secretly terrified. Okay. <laughs> earth, 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 this is for you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> there may be creatures here. You never know. <laughs> okay. Right. Spray paint is drying. I definitely put too much extra. Spray paint is drying. So Ryan is going to have a couple of drinks. <laughs> I am making a hot oh, mess of around shock face things. Also, I'm super excited and I love that um, my bestie Lauren suggested it, but she wanted a little um, shimmer on her planters. So we got this glitter shimmer uh, spray paint and I've never actually used it. Me, the glitter lover, has never used glitter spray paint. I'm super excited to print. Ryan's using glitter? What? <laughs> 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 A glitter that she's never tried before so yeah oh, no. that's, that's different Ugh. i love soil on my hands <laughs> not me guys, i'm it's not sure this is gonna happen. You, guys. you know um i used to live in south carolina and i was a huge gardener like i had so many big beautiful plants my yard was beautiful i had a nice little garden and and then I moved to California and it is so dry. Nothing grows here. I mean, it does. Yeah. in California, the place where plants go like, to dry out. Yeah, you need things that can stand a dry heat. I don't know what it is. Like, how do grapes for wine grow so well in California and nothing else does? Avocados. Oh, yeah. 
can grow here. They're tricky though. Too, but it's weird. She has an avocado tree. Yes, she does. I do. That I can grow. That is a that is a labor of love for for myself. I don't have much left. Succulents I can do. I have a lot of aloe. It's working. So this, See, this in Hawaii, I had all kinds of avocado trees and mango trees and orchids. Oh what does it grow there? Dude, everything grows there. You can plant, you can just throw a coconut in a rock and it'll grow. It's fantastic. But out here, it's a different story. <laughs> okay, so I was able to get this um, in here. I made a huge mess on my crafting table. So this will be no. an interesting cleanup. However, um, be fun. this turned out really good. So I am going to kind of leave it like this. Um, let me pull this up. And voila! Oh, beautiful. You. Look how fun that is, you guys. That is just like I so neat because I am such a coffee guru. Um, yeah, I love it. This one just makes my little heart happy every day as it sits on my window seal um, in my kitchen. Oh my uh, with my new little plant. Look at that. So fun. You guys, the glitter spray paint is amazing. <laughs> is it? Yes. Okay, these guys aren't cooperating very well. They're standing up. Join the club, Terry. I'm trying, man. <laughs> so, uh, Christina lives in Pomona, California. I think I can do this. Um, Christina, how is your green thumb? Are you able oh. to um, grow some really cool stuff in Pomona? Because here in the Temecula Valley, more um north is dry and and it was says, more in Pomona. she wrote a couple of minutes ago she said she also kills plants ah uh, uh, well christina you're you're um you're one of us so we're happy Melissa, to have you Melissa's we like, don't judge i like guru <laughs> no judgment here okay right, i, so I now, really want these guys to like do what i want them to do and they are doing whatever they want to do so also, I I'll just allow it they might be in a little like a shock phase so they will once they get I comfortable know. like most women you know once we feel comfortable we spread our wings right they will they'll grow <laughs> i want things to look the way i want them to look right away <laughs> that's my problem in life okay i'm gonna have to let these guys grow it's fine it's, it's fine. They're going to look so great. So um, Carrie has a really nice porch that overlooks water, a lake. Yes. And um, I thought that this plant is just going to look so cute, bright and sunshiny on her yeah. porch. It'll uh, go with well. just loving its new home. My sweet right, there's like a yellow good plant chance there. I'm going to hurt myself. Maybe I'm not pushing hard enough. Oh, be careful. Don't cut yourself. I the, Literally, that's what I hear my husband saying while he's watching this. Go <laughs> okay, okay so for okay. this one i'm gonna sort of try to do um a little collection of succulents for the calculator which i'm really excited um i am going to put this elephant's bush thank you mary yes. um, and i'm gonna put some of the donkey's tail in with it as well as i had um clipped off a couple of these succulents um through my backyard where I do, I am growing some aloe and some other succulents. Some pieces fell off and um, I tried to keep them alive. So I stuck them in water and look at this, it's like been six months and I was able to keep them alive. So I'm gonna take a couple of pieces out of here and I'm gonna put them in this pot um, as well. I figured I could just kind of keep them, keep them going. So here uh, we go with this one. And this one, I'm using the same pot um, that Carrie has. I got this from the Home Depot and I'm gonna put this right into the retro calculator. Now. Like I said before, if you don't, so I, I do have this issue where um, I love to hoard vintage, vintage things. So my original purpose was to just throw this in the garden, throw dirt inside of it and just let gr whatever grow, grow. But then I just, I cleaned it up and it's so beautiful that I can't imagine putting it outside in the dirt. So it's going to stay in my home. And so I put a pot in it for those of you who are just joining us. That's what um, I'm doing with the calculator. And since my things are over there drying, I'll show you the plants that we picked out from the, I have no idea what these are. So if anybody wants to tell us, 
I like these little ball ones that I will grow and dangle over the side as they grow. I think they're called something peas. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I have these in a garden, a succulent garden I made my husband a couple of years ago for um, Father's Day because they kind of look like a uh, coral reef to me. They have the, like these little indents, they look little tubules. And this um, little purple cactus, this little uh, one, this guy for a little height, and then this guy for more height. So this is what I'm going to be putting in the planters for, for my friends. And then I'm going to put some nautical rope around one of the bottoms of one of them for like a little more nautical flare. What uh, plants are you using in yours, uh, Taylor? Um, well, I have to get the top of this thing to come off first, but then I plan on doing some sort of just using it as a vase for flowers, I think. Cool. You know, you could even do a really nice um, fake flower. You don't have to worry about killing it. Yeah, I could put some um, felt flowers in here. Oh, your beautiful felt flowers would be awesome. All right, I got this. Uh elephant's bush kind of going all over the place which is kind of yeah. cool <laughs> carrie confirms and so everything would spread out which i really like so now i'm gonna fill it with some more of this um tail, which is hilarious right i want to tell you you guys I really love it, so names. every <laughs> week we um we bring you a new craft last week we uh were playing with some mushroom decor turned out amazing. We've never um, necessarily crafted mushrooms and they're just super cute, something that you wouldn't normally see and they really turned out fine. We used all different mediums. So if you wanna check that out, you can go back in our videos. But, um, oh my gosh, you guys. So obviously in the middle of making mushrooms, we just looked like we had a lot of male parts going on. And so the conversations <laughs> after the video yeah was uh, quite entertaining. So this kind of reminded me of that scenario. <laughs> okay, it kind of looks like this lamp is puking up succulents, but <laughs> once they like grow more and get comfortable in here, because apparently they're angry. <laughs> oh, Mary says, okay, there's string of pearls. We all had it wrong. We said, I geez. love string of pearls. <laughs> is that, wait, wait, who has the string of pearls? The string of pearls. Ryan. Oh, sorry. I was like, Ryan, isn't it Ryan something keys? string of pearls? I have some of those outside and they're my favorite. I like so I, you, the camera one. is not capturing how awesome this glitter spray paint is. It is so cool. That is very cool. Like, it's beautiful. I hope I can get it good on camera. Zach, if you're listening, I need you to bring me ice. My water <laughs> is too paging cool. Zach. Paging Zach. Yeah. This is not happening, and I could also probably use a vodka refill at this point because this is not happening. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and message Zach for you. <laughs> so, uh, Peter, what um, what would you tell people? Why is it not working? What could you or do you think you should be doing differently? I'm picturing like a gigantic Home Depot bucket full of ice for one, so I can completely yeah. submerge I think it. That would have helped you. Yeah. That and a larger pot, but I was working with limited space <laughs> because I have this pot plate over here. I mean, it's boiling. The water's hot. I just, I think my water does need to be colder because it's, my ice kind of melted while we were talking. So, yeah. Um, so, oh, hubby says he's on his way. Ice too hot. <laughs> I was I wondering if I had put more in here, but. The water too wet podcast today. It was so funny. Such a good podcast. I think I like it. I think it needs to fill oh, out a little bit. So it, cool. Giving it room. Giving it room oh, it's really good, it. Carrie. It totally reminds me of the Pixar light bulb thing, but yellow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And like a mix of the Pixar ball, you know, because the colors, I love it. That would be yeah, so I can cool. I can put it outside with my other yeah. guys. They're going to be yeah. friends. I have a little yellow planter. Oh, that know. Melissa from Sweet so, Succulents made me. This is, this is fun that we're um, talking about this, but years and years ago, um, my grandmother passed away and she and I were very close. And one of the items that I got from her um, after she passed was a big, okay. bright yellow, uh, you know, 
water pitcher or you know oh, lemonade or whatever yeah. kool-aid for me in it and like and I just have all of these very vivid memories of this big yellow pitcher and so I got it but it had a crack up the side so it couldn't necessarily hold water anymore but I still wanted to keep it so I made it into a planter I was gonna say um, that's perfect for a planter I made it into a planter and I didn't even think about it then or even until just now when we were talking about it and I was talking about the yellow but <laughs> that is such a good way to like repurpose like heirlooms yeah like, I was even thinking that like Farah has um old rain boots that she doesn't fit anymore she has new rain yeah. boots now yeah I was thinking I should throw some plants in them and then she could keep her old rain boots so Very her well. yeah. <laughs> and like homeschool project for her to like maybe plant seeds instead of like living like already grown plants you know yeah. and then watch them grow yeah that's a good idea she does have some like flower seeds too that we could use so yeah that might oh, be a good spring project. Our upcoming so, spring bomb seeds and make some flowers. Yeah. Ooh, cute. Oh, I am done here. I sort of did this little Abby. collection. Love it. I'm stick it inside this calculator. Oh, yeah. I want to see it in the calculator for sure. <laughs> And then we're all gonna have to um, hold up our <laughs> creation. Did you get it, Taylor? Oh, I'm laughing because I'm gonna just be holding up the bottle. Mine's so <laughs> wet. I don't think I can turn it. Hold it up. I don't know. Oh, what's um, wrong. Mary says, uh, Carrie, that you should leave the lamp upright until the roots and everything kind of sit. Yeah, and then let the um the the leaves come down. Okay. Okay. Mary is I was just responding to her. Expert. I'm That's gonna do that. I was like, Home Depot told me. She said eventually was, they will come down. Yes, I like it tilted the best, but I want my plants to live. So, what are you laughing about, Taylor? <laughs> just to <laughs> wrap up water it's situation really cup powder. that had ice in it at Zach so he gave me more water for my hot pot and <laughs> I didn't realize there was like little pieces of ice still left at the bottom and it just went oh, and no. he's just sitting there like nodding his head like Jesus <laughs> all right so like I said there was a, video here for a receipt um you know something the receipt roll or whatever so I took the receipt oh, yeah. roll out and I took some of this whole thing that had a space here. So I took that cool. out. So now I have this nice little space where I'm gonna be able to fit this little pot. And then this will just yeah. kind of um, kind of sit down on it. Ooh. So here you go. Here's your new home. <laughs> Let's see. That's super cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, he's stepping all over the ice. <laughs> so as this um, donkey's tail kind of uh, relaxes a little bit more, as well as the elephant, it'll kind of drape down a little bit more. I want it to drape. And I probably could stick just a little bit more here on the sides. Yeah. But there and it some is. Some of those, the pearls, what are they called again? I've already lost it. String of pearls. String of pearls. I, I keep think wanting to call really them mother of pearls. pearls. String of pearls. The, the pearl succulents, those guys. <laughs> some of those might be pretty coming out like the sides or something too. I like it. I might be able to get another um, string kind of going down. I think that would look good. Yeah. I need to go raid my neighbor's succulent collection because she has she has clippings she can give me, I bet. Like right here? A few more guys in here. <laughs> oh, I think I have a little, a little guy here. Cute. Yeah, throw it in there. It'll root. <laughs> There you go, little guy. Not succulents. You can literally just like rip a piece off and stick it in some dirt, and it'll it'll root eventually. 
They're pretty hardy. That's why I like them. <laughs> All right. That looks good there. Okay. That's very cool. So we're going to do uh, a little bit of a recap um, on Taylor's. We will let you guys know how that turns out. You can find all of our end projects um, every Thursday on our Instagram and our Facebook at Simply Made Local. And uh, today we posted what those mushroom uh, projects look like. So if you missed that, you can find um, those supplies, the before and afters on that. Really fun. And uh, these will be going up next Friday because next Thursday right. we have an article that's going to be going on our blog uh, once do. a month. <laughs> Our resident blogger, Miss Carrie, over there, um, <laughs> writes an amazing article on the best handmade artists that she can find uh, for a, a specific topic for that month. So this mm -hmm. month is all things wedding. So if you have a wedding coming up or you know somebody who's getting married that just wants some really um, unique custom yes. ideas uh, from some handmade artists in the United States that are able to customize that decor for them, be sure to right. check out that article that's going live uh, at simplymadelocal.com uh, slash blog next Thursday. Um, and so these finished projects will go up um, the day after. Yeah. <laughs> and more mind you, don't you worry, because we'll be back here next Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific yeah. Standard Time with a whole new craft um, and showing you some tips and tricks and what works <laughs> and what might not work <laughs> for you. It obviously doesn't so you, work. Uh, join along with us. You can find that supply list and find out what we're making. Uh, we'll be putting that out on Instagram on Saturday. So be sure to check that out. Um, and also just go on over to simplymadelocal.com. You can sign up as a vendor. Uh, you have tons of benefits and marketing opportunities for only $5 a month. Set up shop and get your own direct you. link that you can start selling to your customers locally as well as if you're just looking for a unique item, maybe for Mother's Day, you can find that as well. So we all thank you. Let's hold up our projects, everybody, so we can show you. Okay, I'm going to tip it a little bit just for now. Yeah, I'm just going to like. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taylor. <laughs> uh, thanks again for joining us. And we can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.